It's time now to take a look at uh, stories making headlines on Nigerian newspapers this morning. We've got a host of them uh, with us right here. And I begin with the leadership newspaper leading with um, this report on the 2023 elections. Of course, that uh, campaigns in top gear at Tiku, Tinobu, Obi, it says, unveil economic security packages. Uh, for Ashiwaji Tinobu, he's quoted as saying, I'll eliminate kidnappers, killers, troubling Nigeria. The PDP candidate promises to fix bad roads, revive the Kura power plant in Plateau State, and FG slams Atiku over comment on Boko Haram's existence, uh, while the Labour Party's flag bearer Peter Obi says, we will save Nigeria from collapse. That's on the leadership. The, the Daily Times is next. FG slams Atiku over comments on Boko Haram, says PDP notched the insurgents to the monster they later became uh, a response uh, by the federal government over Atiku's comments there. The Daily Times captures this in among their headlines. Let's uh, see what Daily Trust has, and it's on election spending. It says politicians move to bypass cash withdrawal limit, chieftains collect agents' account details in Nasarawa State, presidential candidates to spend 1.8 billion naira on agents each, APC said to be silent as PDP and the uh, Liberal Party kick. And for the NNPP and the PRP, they say that this new uh, spending limit will not affect their campaigns. The cash withdrawal policy is also the big story on First News, as we see now. Senate said to stop CBN today, it says, as lawmakers debate policy at Wednesday's plenary Committee's report mustn't be swept under the carpet. That's according to uh, Senator Bulka Chua. And finally with me is The Punch. INEC vows prosecution of voters, card buyers and sellers, with commission insisting on the Beavers uh, technique to combat PVC fraud. Veronica. All right. And on my end, I begin with uh, the Nature News. A major headline here says, Electricity, federal government completes 105 power projects, adding uh, 6,216 megawatts to national greed. Minister speaking, uh, Senate proves bid to concessions in Giru Power Plant. All the details on the front page of the Nature newspaper. And we move now to the Nigerian News Direct, still talking electricity. $2 billion electricity grid maintenance creates 45,000 jobs. The minister speaking. $2 billion electricity grid maintenance creates 45,000 jobs. The minister speaking there. We move now to the front page of the blueprint. Nigeria goes for uh, $500 million World Bank lifeline for electricity distribution. Uh, targets 22,000 megawatts by 2023. Assures sustainable markets will pay for itself. Assures sustainable markets will pay for itself. All right, all of the details on the front page of the blueprint. We'll move now to this Nigeria newspaper, and the major headline here says MDAs invade Senate over 1.9 trillion naira service wide vote probe. As Public Accounts Committee asks Finance Ministry to provide documents missing 130 million naira jam salary. All right, details on the front page of this Nigeria newspaper. To the Nation newspaper now, banks get marching order to sell off Disco's shares. Banks get marching order to sell off Disco's shares. And finally here, business day inflation. Consumer goods firm take comfort in smaller packs. Consumer goods firms take comfort in smaller packs. Tax or the details on the front page of uh, the business day, Kemi. Right, and um, like we observed in the papers, among the headline stories, of course, the last has not been heard about the election spending uh, limits. Of course, it goes beyond election spending limit as um, declared by the Apex uh, Central Bank of Nigeria. It affects uh, regular people, it affects companies. Uh, this issue of um, you know spending limit, cash withdrawal limit, uh, government say it is the best for the country, a policy that it says was introduced in 2012, but uh, had to be suspended due to issues that came up and then 
fast track to this moment. Uh, here we are. The outcry continues. We hear that the Senate will get an opportunity to deliberate on a report uh, regarding the investigations carried out by the Committee on Banking, Insurance, and um, other financial institutions. Uh, the a member, the uh, deputy of that committee, had um, explained to the Senate yesterday because the date uh, for that deliberation of that report was supposed to be yesterday. But uh, because um, Senator Uba, the governorship candidate of um, Kaduna State, we understand had to be in Kaduna State to receive the APC's uh, presidential candidates during the flag of the of, of the North, of the Northwest campaign, which also extended to the governorship uh, and other elections, other campaigns in Kaduna State. So we hear it's going to happen today, but um, there have been some controversies as to whether the Senate is trying to shield or was trying to shield uh, the two deputy governors from speaking specifically on how this policy will benefit um, the Nigerian polity. Last week, the deputy governors were screened by this same committee. That's um, the two deputy governors, Aisha Ahmed, Edward Lamtech. And um, there seem to be some um, ruffles within that committee. Former mm -hmm. governor of Bielsa State, as Ereke Dixon, said he wasn't comfortable in the manner they were treated, that he expected a more vigorous screening other than the bow and go mm -hmm. that we understand uh, happened. Because according to him, the issue of can the president bring in a policy as this at the twilight of his administration, uh, have we talked about, have we um, you know, checked the readiness of the system, the readiness of Nigerians, the readiness of institutions to you know, bring in a policy as um, pivotal as this? You know, these are the questions some of us, and you also raised these concerns uh, earlier. Uh, but um, Mephia Len last week, as the CBN governor, went to Daura to see the president. And he said he got the support of the president because he went to explain to the president that this is the step they're taking. And like the previous times when we talked about the redesigning of the Naira, we saw that the president came out to say he is aware when there was a back and forth like we saw at the time, which is similar to what we are seeing now, talking about the president's support and all of it. The president is in support. If he went, the CBN governor, to see uh, the president in Daura and he gave him a nod, yes, we have not had the president speak, but then right. he gave him a nod saying that, yes, you can go on with this initiative. It means the president is in the know. He wants to address um, whatever it is he wants to address, talking about insecurity, like the, it is often said with regards to the re redesigning of the Naira and, you know, checking cash flow and talking about when kidnappers make demands for monies and all of that. And we talk about tracking these monies when we have transactions, especially now that we're looking at, you know, deepening the e-transactions yeah, e and all of it. That is what the CBN is trying to achieve, mopping up cash, you know, back into the system since we have 85% of that in the system. So the president is aware. I'd like to see what the deliberations will be later today. If that happens, uh, I'd like to see how they go about having this conversation because there are those who also think that they are trying to do this in their own interests. You know, yes, it is the peak of uh, the election period campaigns and all of it. They are talking about, okay, how can they raise funds? If the president had come up with this policy in 2014, would he have been able to campaign? All of it, those are the statements we are hearing from political parties. Would he have been able, would he have become president if he had come up with the policy in 2014, 2018, and all of it leading up to whatever it is at the end of the day? But are we also looking side by side to what the CBN says it's trying to achieve? Yes, okay, there are those political parties who are trying to raise funds at this time, talking about SDP, talking about uh, ADC and ADP who are saying they are trying to raise funds at this period. They don't have the war chest like some of the other political parties do, and so they are seeking to raise funds at this time that this would affect them. Now, talking about how we ensure, okay, we deepen the processes, especially in rural areas. The CBN governor says that they have super agents, about 1.4 million of them across the 774 local governments in Nigeria. And that when he went to Daura in Katsina, that he saw one of them, you know, and he saw people patronizing, you know, the super agent. 
How many people know that? I went to the bank some days ago and I saw people coming to ask questions with regards to this, this cash, policy. cash limit uh, policy, cash withdrawal limit policy. You know, people are already coming to the bank. There are those who are now getting to understand that this is where the CBN is going. They are going to the banks to ask questions. Yes, there are challenges, no doubt. We would get there at, at some point. And there are those who are perhaps coming up with ideas to say, okay, how can we make things easy? Those who are in the tech, in the tech system, who are coming up with, okay, one app or the other to see how to make things easy easy for Nigerians to bridge the gap that is on the ground as we speak to make things easier. So uh, for me, I just feel it's neither here nor there. The, C the, the CBN wouldn't go ahead if it did not, uh, if the CBN governor wouldn't go ahead if he did not have the president's backing. With no, regards absolutely, to this policy. absolutely. That's, that may even go you know, as well as, you know, that appears pretty obvious. Uh, but um, it remains to be seen what will happen at the Senate, uh, you know, when they have their deliberations today, because for, for many observers, this might just be, like you said, something that is, there's a no go area. The government, of the day has agreed that this is where we are headed. Mm -hmm. So maybe we might as well see whether the incoming administration will want to inherit the, the, a policy as this. So, that's so, it. No, recall the president well, also spoke about the fact that he wants to leave the country as safe. All right. As secured as possible right. for the next administration. We'll so this is also part of the process. Absolutely. To He's ensuring that. Judged. So, on, on, on all that. And yes, we're looking forward for, for some objectivity about this policy so that it will not be politicized. Let's let, let the Senate now bring up the gains uh, of this. And let, of course, we need to weigh uh, the concerns uh, by other stakeholders. We'll see how it all goes uh, when the Senate uh, takes it up from here, talking about deliberating on the report uh, by the Finance Committee.